friends, I am Namita and welcome to yet another episode of She Says, She Says. Today I am going to be talking about one of the most scandalous chick flicks in a really long time, 90ml. So if you've already watched the trailer of this OVR starer STR musical, then you probably know what it's all about. It is a chick flick meets porn com meets masala para. But when I walked out of the theater, this film left me with so many mixed feelings. First things first, don't be quick to dismiss 90ml. It is probably the first female adult comedy in India and one of the very few films in the country that actually depict female camaraderie. This five-member girl gang, led by Ovia of course, frequent Stasmax all by themselves, party all night and share exciting details about their sex lives. The best part? They don't even want to invite men to their parties. But the worst part? They talk only about these men at their parties. And this is why 90ML, despite being literally run by an all-female cast, does not pass the Bechdel test. The screen is crowded with women, but their conversations always center around their men. We know nothing about their careers except for a conversation that lasts all of 60 seconds. What do these women do? Do they work? Do they have any hobbies, interests or passions apart from getting high and talking about their partners? Apparently not. Thanks to the long-lasting effect of sex in the city, the most empowering moment for these girls comes from consumption, consumption and even more consumption. If it is sex and retail therapy for Carrie and the girls, it is alcohol and ganja for Ovia's girl gang. The movie consistently panders to a male audience and for the most part is written and shot through a male gaze. The unnecessary item numbers and sexual innuendos look like they were written to get the men going and it makes the entire markup of female friendship look like a mere parody. Sexuality is reduced to a big plot twist and the interval block ends with a character bypassing a man and promptly rushing into a woman's arms. But peppered with the run-of-the-mill homophobic humour, it undoes all the good done so far. Remember Kanta Ben from Kalhona Ho? A similar comedy track keeps running again and again through the second half. But guys, I don't have the heart to totally diss 90ml. Of course it is trashy like any other adult comedy, but there are parts that genuinely surprised me. When asked about why she prefers a live-in relationship over marriage, Ovia offers this long-winded backstory of being sexually molested and orphaned. And then she pauses for a brief second before laughing out loud. She says that nobody really needs to have a tragic backstory in order to live a debauched life. She likes it, so she does it. This is a fantastic and much-needed message to all storytellers who write characterless women from broken homes. Be it Nitya Menon from OK Kanmani, Reza from Pyar Prema Kadu, Deepika Padukone from Cocktail, Kalki from Shaitan, Nina, the Malayalam film. Oh, I could just go on forever. So thank you for calling this trope out, Ovia. And thank you so much for this attempt at normalizing female commitment issues, desire, and our cheap and grotesque moments that we actually share over beer and biryani. So what are my final thoughts on 90ml? It is a great intention movie at heart, but with mediocre direction and writing. Oh, and added shock value. Director Aragi Asura, I get what you're trying to do and I'm totally rooting but somewhere in the process that translation just did not happen. Oh, and making the most eligible crusader of toxic masculinity the climax of a supposedly female-centric film? This film gives me so much anxiety and confusion that I can't even process. Anyway, what are your thoughts on 90ml? Did it resonate with you? If it did, please leave a comment in the box below. And don't forget to like, share and most importantly, subscribe to Film Companion Sub. See you again soon.